Hey everyone, Gary Simon, of course, Zetro. So back again with another new week of videos every Monday through Thursday at 10.30 a.m. ET and also a live stream on Friday at 10.30 a.m. ET. So make sure you subscribe here. And today we're going to be taking a look at this really awesome product. Um, it's called artboard.studio and that's the actual URL and name. And basically it's all about mockups and product presentations and they're completely web-based in their system and it's really customizable and it's, it's similar to Photoshop and I've done a lot of tutorials on how to use mock-up templates in Photoshop um, but it's built specifically for this purpose and it's completely in the, the browser you don't have to download anything and so right now unfortunately at the time of recording this I, you have to sign up and request early access. So I did that a while ago. I received the email a while ago as well. Um, and so, you know, I, I think there's, there's, you know, there's 16,700 who've already uh, joined. So I think if you put in your email on your name, you'll get pretty quickly, hopefully a, um, you know, the, the actual ability to start using it. All right. So, um, we're going to go ahead I'm going to show you how this is all set up. Um, and also how you can create uh, mock-up templates from scratch with their system. And it's really, really cool. All right. So for today's question, how much do you pay for your internet and how fast is it? And so I'm asking this simply because I'm always interested in the speed of internet and the price of internet around the world. And I know I have a lot of uh, subscribers who aren't just in the US. Uh, so go ahead and let me know. I'll let you know uh, in the first comment. And then on Friday, I'll pick out some of your comments and I'll give my thoughts. All right, let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm already logged into my Artboard Studio account. Um, the way this is set up is if you have projects saved, they're going to show up here in a card format. Uh, but I have no projects saved. This is what you'll see upon uh, first loading or logging in. And um, you can watch a video walkthrough um, or just create a new project. So I'm going to click uh, Create New Project. And the way this is set up, I, on the left-hand part, we can choose to create a new project from scratch. Um, and there's different... Uh, options down here for like Facebook sizes so it'll help you get set it up set up with a new template quickly um, over here though there are already predefined templates that you can start off with um, and it's set up into three different sections up here it's kind of hard to see they should make this a little bit more obvious um, but it says all templates and that's simply lists all the templates um, flat templates as you can see here and then also perspective scenes only all right, so whatever you choose is obviously going to be dependent on, you know, what your given project is. Um, so we'll say, for instance, we have a UI showcase mock-up scene. By the way, um, if you scroll through these, right, at, you know, at least at the time of recording this, there's not a ton. There's a good amount of, of templates that you could choose from, but still, um, it, it, there's obviously going to be a lot more to come uh, because this is definitely going to be successful. So if I click on this UI showcase, we see an editor uh, shows up, uh, this new UI, and it kind of reminds you a little bit of Photoshop, the way they have it set up. Um, so basically, almost everything in these scenes are editable, all right? So it's not just like uh, you, you can only move things around and that's that. If you click on something, we can see we have a um, this little selection shows up, and then all the associated properties um, show up here over to the right. And unfortunately, I am on top of some of those. So let me, hopefully you can see it now a little bit better. There we go. All right, so um, as you can see uh, for this one, uh, and also depending on what layer you choose, uh, you know, these properties over here will drastically change. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit that you can actually modify from these. Um, so first and foremost, we can see right here, if you, you click on almost any element, you have this prominent place your design call to action right here. So this is where, and by the way, when you click on that, it takes you into a new window right here, and it's separated. You can go back and forth between these two, much like Photoshop. Um, we can see that I, you know, we could delete this and then we can put in our own design here. Um, I don't have an actual UI design for this, but uh, for instance, if I just select the Corsetra logo, 
and I scale this down. Right around there looks good. And just simply just go back. It is automatically there. Um, and so you could have obviously put in a full UI design here. And again, these are all properties that we can adjust. We can see it already has a little bit of a rotation on it. And we can change the opacity of the whole thing. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that in this context. Um, the reflections you can actually adjust. So reflection light. We could change the main label, which is simply whatever is placed on top of it, the main image. And also you can see we have this drop down. They all say normal. These are blend modes. So that really is handy um, for a, a, a lot of different varieties. Not in this one, not in this case so much, but uh, you'll see in, in a little bit. Um, then we can even change the grounds, uh, the ground shadow right here. I'll make it a little bit darker or darker or just take off the whole thing entirely. All right, so very, very handy. Um, let me go over real quickly the uh, this section over here. So we can insert what's, what are called items into these scenes, um, either through the ones that we created through a template or the ones that we created from scratch, which we'll do in a little bit. Um, so, and they have them um, sectioned off into different categories here. So you can um, uh, make or put in items that are based on print, like books, magazines, cards, electronics, packaging, apparel, decorative, kitchen. I mean, they have really good categories, obviously, and a lot of different things that you could choose from. Um, it's in some of the categories, there's not many items. Um, but for instance, if I choose electronics, we could see that, uh, you know, obviously depending on the type of scene that you're, you're building or you're working with, some of them aren't going to fit and make sense. For instance, this walk on pen that doesn't really fit with the scene too well. Um, but it's as simple as simply just left clicking and there, there you go. You have it there. And then you could see for this item, uh, for instance, and pretty much every item that I've seen, you can adjust the shadow at least right here. And then you can make these things bigger if you want. All in all, very, very handy. Um, they even have a tablet if you wanted to put in there in a scene. All right, so after that, we also have textures. So for instance, maybe we don't want a solid background right here, like this light gray or light, this white color. Um, we can put in, uh, I don't know, maybe stone. Are these going to sit on stone? Maybe that may not make that much sense, uh, but we could try it. No big deal. Um, so uh, let's put in an ugly pink tile. All right, so these layers, we can adjust them in the, the order. And then simply just hold shift and increase the size. There we go. Very, very easy and customize, cust ah, customizable. And you could also have layer effects and, and change your uh, the blend mode. Um, the blend mode in this case probably wouldn't work too well because there's nothing underneath it. Uh, but you can also insert, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, we'll get to these things up here in a second, but you can insert shapes. So if you just want to put in like a square background or so something like this, we'll put this to the bottom. Well, first let's change the color to like red. Actually, let's change the color to something else. Like, uh, there we go, blue. Put it at the bottom. And then this is where you can really see the blend modes and how they uh, affect things. So I can hit the down keyboard with it selected, the arrow key, and there you go. Works just like normal Photoshop blend modes. Awesome, awesome stuff. This is this of course is pretty ugly. All right, um, and so that's how uh, the the templates work. I mean, they're all pretty much going to be based on the same concept, where you know a lot of the elements are just very customizable. Um, so let's go back here to oh. I wanted to go over this real quickly. You can also insert photos and this is using an API from Unsplash. It's kind of hard to read. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you can do a search here for whatever it is that you need um, and it'll come up with all the results. Uh, obviously there's probably millions of images and these are all, um, I would assume, uh, free for commercial use. So um, awesome, awesome stuff here. 
You can insert text-based items and they have some templates or you just, if you just want to put some simple text, you can do that as well. Change the fonts, all this stuff over here. Um, like I said, the shapes um, over here. Um, and then you can upload, you know, whatever it is that you want to place on these, uh, these, these surface areas. Right here, we have, you can just simply change the canvas size and then um, there's an imports menu. Uh, just looking at this, you can uh, connect to Figma, for instance, um, and import stuff from there. All right, so um, let's create one of our own from scratch because this is really cool. Um, let's go back here. I don't want to save. And we're going to create a new project. And I'm just going to call this, uh, let's see here, my design, whatever, something generic, and start from scratch. All right, so when you start from scratch, obviously there's no layers, nothing to work with really. Um, so it's up to us to build out our scene. So you can um, start off by adding an item here. Um, and so I want to build a, a kind of like a scene where there's uh, some packaging, like a, some type of a thing over here, like a little bag where I can put on a logo, um, but also build it out into a realistic scene, like as if it's an actual photograph. All right, so um, the first thing I'll do is uh, we'll choose the main item from which we're going to display um, a logo. Um, so coming down here, um, we can see all these different bags. They have a lot of them. This is probably their, their best section when it comes to sheer numbers. Um, so if I click on this bag right here, it'll take a little bit to load, and there it is. Um, as we can see, we have the different sections over here that we can adjust. Again, let me... Um, scale this in just a bit so we can see them all right and um let's go ahead by the way you could use spacebar and all that good stuff all right so let's go ahead and i uh, we'll scale this down just uh, a, a tad bit so scale it down and then let's go ahead and let's actually place the design and what's really cool is some of the the um, the items that you use. Um, it, this will convert into instead of just a button, it's a drop down menu where you can actually um, the holder color. You can change the the color of this element right here. These as they're called holders, their handles or whatever. Um, you can replace the main design, and then also the left side you can even customize, which is very handy. So we're just going to do the main design. And I'm going to choose real quickly um, my uploads. I already uploaded this uh, logo I created a long time ago right there. That looks to be a good size already. Um, so if I go back to the main area, there it is. Perfect. Looks realistic. And then um, we can also uh, put in, let's see, now we can start to like build out um, the scene. So if I go back from packaging, um, let's see here. Uh, let's, let's see, packaging, apparel, stationery. Um, I think textures is what I want. Um, if I choose wood, we could see that I there's a lot of them that are kind of based on a perspective where it's like a table. So I want to use uh, this one right here. All right, so we just get this moved into to place here. Um, I'm going to increase the scale. And then... We're going to put this on top and look at that. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty good right there. All right. Um, now let's give ourselves a background. Um, to do that, we'll use this time photos. And I'm going to search, search for, you know, something that I think would fit well with this and this kind of like being the focus. Um, so I decided to choose or search for windows. And... Obviously, you have tons of options from, you know, where they're gathering all this information from. Um, a lot that could work. Um, so this one, I think, would actually work pretty well. So if I put this at the very bottom, and let's see here. Uh, let's uh, increase the size. I'm kind of looking. Yeah, maybe I'll hide this part right there. Maybe make this a little bit larger. Awesome. And then let's uh, build out the scenes. Actually, let's bring, let's bring this up all the way. There we go. Now that makes a little bit more sense. 
was like a table and then a window. Awesome. And then we can go ahead and build out some more items um, that to help complement the scene a little bit more. So um, what did they have here? Drinks. All right. So this is um, a section with um, drinks with that, that are actually filled. But there's also, um, let's see here, cooking. No, don't want that. Um, let's do this one actually. We'll add a don a donut right here, and look, it just it just fits perfectly. It looks awesome. All the lighting is correct. Um, now where's a coffee mug? Maybe I just type mug. All right, or cup. So. I think we'll choose this one right here. We'll put this one in the back or underneath donut. And there you go. Look at that. And of course, all the uh, shadows are, you know, you can adjust them through the ground set shadows section right here. And there we go. So at this point, if you were satisfied with this, let me reset this. Uh, zoom option here um, we would simply take the um, quick export so we can export as a jpeg or a um, png or 2x i found that if you just export as a jpg it doesn't look that great it's smaller um, so 2x would definitely make sense as a jpeg right here uh, png would make sense if you're working with something with uh, not a lot of colors uh, obviously um, to, to help reduce for file size but you can also uh, export to mailchimp dropbox and google drive as long as you could figure those options and then facebook instagram or twitter all right so we simply just export this it'll download it automatically um, click on it there we go you have it ready to upload to your portfolio or whatever. All right, guys, I hope you check it out. And also make sure to answer today's question here in the comments, which is, once again, how much do you pay for your internet and how fast is it? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 1030 a.m. with a brand new tutorial. All right, goodbye.